You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 29th day of September 2022, and our topic for today is Prayers for Youths. So we'll be praying for our youths today, praise God. But before then, please let us see a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for such an awesome opportunity to be before you again. We thank you for making us sleep and wake up in sound health and sound mind. We are gathered before you today again to raise our youths before you. We ask Lord that as our prayers come, they will ascend unto you as a sweet smile. Let us receive swift answers to these prayers today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. We have in our memory verse for today to read from the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 reads, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Our text for today is from the same book of Isaiah chapter 11. Now we'll be reading from verse 1 to 5. Isaiah chapter 11 from verse 1 to 5 reads, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Isaiah chapter 11 from verse 1 to 5. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Once again, today we'll be having prayers for our youths. It is important that we take these prayers seriously because upon the shoulders of our youths lies the future. Men who are supported in prayers receive divine help. They have the supernatural advantage. We we'll therefore be lifting our youths before God today, trusting him that through their hands, the Lord will do exploits in Jesus' name. So I'll be reading the prayer points. We are encouraged to pray fervently, even as we trust He who answers prayers to be faithful. Our first prayer point for today is, Lord, I thank you that even with all the perversion in the world today, we still have youths in the church who are burning for you. Our Father, we give you all the thanks. We thank you for the youth that you have preserved unto yourself. Thank you for those who you have called to yourself to burn for you in this dark and gloomy world. In a world that delights in perversion, you have kept some for yourself. You have chosen them to serve in your courts. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for the remnants. Thank you for those who would call upon your name and institute righteousness again. Receive all our thanks and praise. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next, we'll be saying, Lord, let our youths marry correctly. Don't let the devil deceive them to choose spouses who will become burdens to them. In Jesus' name. Our Father, we thank you for our youths that you have called to yourself. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would help them in the place of marital decisions. They would not make mistakes. They would not fall into error. We decree over their lives today in the name of Jesus that they would walk in your will for them concerning marriage. They would not fall into the trap of the enemy to destroy their future by giving them wrong spouses. We declare an alignment for them. Let them meet the bone of their bones. Let them meet their helpers. Let them begin to locate their help meets. Those who would share the burden of Christ together with them to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are praying next. We say, Father, your word says in Acts chapter 2 verse 17 that in the last days you would pour your spirit upon all flesh. Please pour your spirit upon our youths and let them begin to prophesy and see great visions that will impact their generation greatly in Jesus' name. Our Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would open the eyes of our youths. Let them see great visions. Let them prophesy. 
Let their eyes be fixed upon the great assignments that you have entrusted them with. We declare that their spiritual eyes are opened. They can see far. They see great visions of the future. They see visions of the accomplishments of great assignments. Let them be full of your spirit. Let them be led by your spirit in all things. Let them walk step by step under your leadership in the name of Jesus. We ask that like never before, there would be a move of the spirit in all the earth through them. They would walk upon the earth and do exploits with the advantage of your spirit. We declare in the name of Jesus that our youth would shake the world. They would turn its right side up for Jesus, making great transgenerational impact. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we are saying, Father, please give our youth supernatural wisdom to navigate all the hurdles of life that they may encounter as they grow in Jesus' name. Our Father, we ask in the name of Jesus today for wisdom. The wisdom to walk in the exact steps that you will reveal to them. We ask, O oh God, that they would not navigate this world with human wisdom, but by your Spirit. We declare in the name of Jesus that they would overcome. They would enjoy sweet and seamless victory. Where others have made mistakes, they would be victorious. Where others fell down, they would stand strong. Let they always make wise and spirit-influenced decisions that would lead to great and mighty results. They would not miss it at any of the crossroads of life. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are praying next would say, Father, for any of our youths that is confused about any area of their life, please give them the spirit of understanding to walk on the path you have ordained for them in Jesus' name. Our Father and our God, we pray for our youth today that upon the path you have laid out for them, they would not waver. They would not go in the wrong direction. The enemy would not sway their feet. For anyone that is confused, today we ask that in the name of Jesus, you would breathe your breath of wisdom upon them. You would grant unto them the spirit of understanding. Though the path you have laid out for them may be lonely, we ask, O God, that you would keep them upon it, walking in it until they get to their destination. Help them to always keep the end of the matter in view, to always have in mind your purpose for them. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we are saying, Father, speak into the ears of our youths like you promised in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 so that they will know your will for their lives in Jesus' name. Lord, your word says that our ears would hear a word behind saying this is the way walk in it. When we turn to the right hand and when we go to the left, we ask today in the name of Jesus that our youths would receive divine direction. Let them be led with the accuracy of your spirit. We ask that they would receive clear and divine instructions on what to do concerning your will for their lives in the name of Jesus. We ask also, Lord, for a heart that obeys, a heart that trusts your judgment, a heart that would be totally submitted to walk in the ways you have shown to them. Let there be clarity and understanding of your will for their lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Next we'll be saying, Father, please give our youth the spirit of might so that they can do exploits for you in Jesus' name. Lord, you have promised us in your word that we will do greater works. We ask today in the name of Jesus for an endowment from above, that your spirit of might would rest upon our youths, and that your fire will burn within them, your unquenchable fire, your fire that would cause them to become restless, to become restless until they do your will. Let your hand rest upon them, and let them receive the spirit of might the spirit that engraces a man to do mighty things, your spirit that teaches a man to do exploits. Let it come upon our youths in the name of Jesus. We declare over them that none of them would be small. We declare over them in the name of Jesus that the weakest among them shall be great. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are praying next. We say, Father, please make our youths hungry for the right kind of knowledge. Save them from activities that are time wasters in Jesus' name. Our Father, we pray for our youth today. We say in the name of Jesus that activities that yield no positive results, activities that are without benefits, activities that do not bring you glory, activities with which the enemy uses to while away their time, today we disconnect them from them in Jesus' name. We ask, O Lord, that you would multiply their efforts, that with everything they do, they would see great results. Help them to seek knowledge that edifies. We ask, O Lord, that you would shield them from the knowledge that corrupts. The knowledge that would seek to take them away from you, we separate them from them today in the name of Jesus. Let their hearts seek and pant after you alone. Let their desire be unto you. We ask, O God, that you would help our youth to be conscious of time. Please save them from the deception of the enemy 
that makes them think there is still more time. Save them from the evil of procrastination. Help them to effectively maximize this life you have given to them. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next, we we'll pray and say, Father, let our youths fear you in order to run away from sin in Jesus' name. We ask, O oh God, today that you would implant in the hearts of our youths the fear of the Lord. Help them to run away from sin. Let them see the evil of sin for what it is. Today, we circumcise their hearts and we declare in the name of Jesus that their minds are renewed. They no longer see any pleasures in sin. Their hearts lose desire for it in Jesus' name. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would also hide your word in their hearts that they would not sin against you. Let their love for you be genuine. Let them seek you above all else. Let them desire you above every other pleasure. Let them chase after you above any other thing else. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Next we'd say, Lord, don't let the devil deceive our youths with flashy things. Let them not do abominable things for money and let them also not make marriage decisions based on money and physical appearance alone in Jesus' name. Our Father, we pray for our youth today that they will not be carried away with the deception of the age. They will not be carried away with the desire and want for quick money. They will not be overwhelmed and overtaken with greed. We ask, Lord, that the grace for contentment you would grant unto them in the name of Jesus. We ask also that you would bless the works of their hands, grant unto them witty wisdom, grant unto them money-making ideas that would honor you. Open their eyes to the treasures in secret places. Lead them into your prepared blessings and resources for them. We pray also that in the name of Jesus, their marital decisions would not be made on wrong parameters. Their judgment and their senses will not be corrupted. We declare that they receive divine instructions and leadings from you and you alone. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are praying next. We say, Father, please kill every desire to go into internet fraud or other criminal activities in our youths in Jesus' name. Lord, we come against the spirit that influences cybercrime and other forms of fraudulent activities that in the name of Jesus, our youth should not be involved in these ways. Let the desire for it be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. We ask that their minds would be productive and that the fruits of their minds would receive global and international recognitions. They would not waste time and effort on things that do not give you glory. We ask, O God, that you would help them that every desire for fraud be replaced with genuine knowledge and wisdom on how to make it right. We declare in the name of Jesus that there will be global icons for righteousness. They will be known for the beauty and the blessedness of walking in your paths. We declare over them also that they will not lack any good thing, that the windows of heaven will be opened over the works of their hands. Your blessings from above will rest upon the divine ideas that you would give unto them. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now we would go on to pray our special prayer points for the youths around us. Say a word of prayer for them as you are led. Pray for any youth that you know. Bring them before God and declare into their lives all that you want to see. In Jesus' name, our Father, we pray for our youths today. We ask that you take over their minds, take over their hearts, take over their passion, take over their desires, that our youths would seek to know you. We come against the works of the enemy to let them to be overtaken with evil. We come against the desire to engage in unwholesome activities. We come against the desire for immorality. We come against the desire for hard drugs. We come against the spirit of laziness. We ask in the name of Jesus that you would make our youths into global model youths that the whole world will look up to. We pray for all our young adults and youths that your glory would rest upon them. Let they be carriers of your presence everywhere they go. Let they carry your fragrance around. Let their lives be evidences of your power and your glory at work in them. Let there be a light in this dark world. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would also find in them men that would raise your banner high and that would take your gospel to the ends of the earth. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. I also want us to bring our Father and the Lord before God in prayers. He says it always that he is also a youth. Pray for him today that in the name of Jesus, his strength is renewed that the Lord would grant unto him grace to do even more than all he has already done put together. Pray for him and say, Father, the finisher's anointing and the finisher's grace, let it be made available for him. Pray also and ask the Lord that the grace to lead his children aright, let it be made available unto him. Father, we give you praise and we worship you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, 
We just want to say thank you. We thank you for the great army of young men and women that you are raising unto yourself. We ask, O oh Lord, that greater works like we have never seen before, they will do. Through the hands of our youth, we ask that you would wrought great signs and wonders. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Joel chapter 3 down to the book of Amos chapter 4. Hallelujah. We want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us today again in prayers. We believe you have been blessed and refreshed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe on our various platforms. As you go for today, may your strength be renewed for even greater exploits unto our God in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 22 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. Have an amazing day ahead today. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. enjoy today's devotional we'd love to hear from you kindly leave a comment you can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached god bless you have a great day and see you tomorrow